morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the Beat Up Plan as we return to the Duke of the Empire. And I'm starting with good or perhaps bad news, depending upon your perspective. I have decided not to continue with this campaign into EU4. The fact of the matter is that even if I would release nations because, well, if we would play as this, we would be all powerful, is that we would still be super powerful because of our technology. We are on top of everything. We are like the creme de la creme when it comes to most of the technology. And thus, even if we would do something else, like here, even Europe is quite behind me at some points. Look at this drop at improved keeps. Church infrastructure is somewhat, but yeah, castle structure, they're just sort of lacking behind and we can even increase our technology a little more. So we would have Western technology and I wouldn't be surprised if some of these countries might be Western, but some of them might become even Eastern technology. Meaning it will be extremely easy for me to push in and do whatever the hell I like. On top of that, it totally escaped me and I know of another, quite a few people that it's, uh, yeah, well, this interesting thing is, was uh, not noticed, the fact that there actually a new DLC has been released. Monks and Mystics for CK2. And that allows you to play as a Theocracy. Now we have already played as a Theocracy before that was even possible and I already hinted that like, perhaps they might be doing that and apparently I was right. We played as a little papa before you couldn't properly do so. Now they have made it possible. Or at least play as a theocracy. I don't know if you can play exactly as the Pope, but nonetheless. Having said that, I'm not. I don't want to do probably another CK2 campaign right after it. And for some reason, my Steam is not working properly. I can play my games, but I can hardly talk to friends, and I. Cannot enter the store, cannot watch profiles and what have you not, so I can also not buy the newest DLC. On top of that, when I ended the EU4 campaign, I said we build our empire and I'm getting fed up with the AI. Well, I got what I wished for. They improved the AI, or at least so they claim, and I assume Paradox does what they claim, and I have no reason to doubt them. Patch 1.2 is here, and patch 1.3 on top of that, and both of them include significant AI changes. Now, they also release a new DLC for that game, but the United Victory or Freedom for All, or I don't know exactly how it's called, focuses on the British Empire. So, seeing I don't want to play one of those nations, India or Canada, I have the feeling like, eh, don't really need that. Because I will do, if I play Hearts of Iron 4, what I said before I would do, which means a democratic Russia. And on the other hand, there's still XCOM, and if we do go into EU4 and want to build a nation with trading and colonization, then we should just well, do something with a little bit more challenging. I mean, I'm, I'm no near, near some of you, most likely, when it comes to EU4 skills. I'm pretty freaking darn good in CK2. I had two world records, I know, once. I've probably been shattered because the game has been changed and with the focuses you can get crazy high skills. For instance, I had the world record in the stewardship. But highest character and highest stewardship by natural creation. Uh, but yeah, I know, that's that's a very lame thing to have. But I had a, one more interesting one that start as an empire, conquer the world. And, well, a lot of people didn't start as an empire, but you could do it as Mongolia, of course. Anyways, uh, having said all that, I rather have something a little bit more challenging. I'm not as good in the EU4 as I am in CK2, but a little bit more challenging. But, having said all those things, I do want to continue this campaign until the very end. I said I would do so using vote and full net, and thus we will do that. Have you no fear. So, we're gonna play on, and the first thing I've noticed was there's a little revolt here. Thank you, I will declare war for you on the holy war on this. Because, well, that will make the puzzle complete. And that is the game crashing. Let us try again as we return to play some CK2 with the Dulcadir Empire. Because, well, as you just noticed, the game had crashed, and, uh, well, this time I can apparently wage the war without the game crashing. So, 
Let us focus on that, shall we? Victory already. There's a battle over here. Versus raiders. I see. Um, your vassal has expressed her dissatisfaction with your choices of advisors. Yeah, sorry, but no. Uh, why is the army of Botan active? You are at peace with the Bewitched. Which is this guy, right? Yeah, so I doubt that you... I'm not sure why they have the army out, but... Alright, let us first see about this battle. Ended, High Chief of... Okay, somebody won. Um, I say we follow this army because it is currently at a very low morale and I have the feeling he's hired mercenaries in order to deal with me. Uh, from the Mesne, yeah, hired. So, because he has hired mercenaries, the fact that if I win this battle, I would have... Wait, who? Oh, hold on. Where are you going? To Kuban. Then we will relatively get more war score for winning this to Sarpa. Darn it. Don't want him to go too far, though. Also, why is he going all the way over here? Well, he has hired new people. Never you mind, I'm not going to do anything more about this. Charge into these guys. Hmm. So, has he now hired two groups of mercenaries? Yeah, he has. Wow. He desperately wants to hold on to his titles. The funny thing is, is that... Your money issue... Actually, it's very low. Must mean he has been hiring holy orders. Right. Ooh, and that marshal loves me. Kind of good to know. And... Let us see here. Marshal, what can you do for me right now? You are in battle, apparently. I want you to spread the military technology. You are away from the council, and where are we actually still trying to convert people? Where are you active? In Quadar? No, in Kuzdar. Yeah, I'm going to have to search it up because I have no idea. Who's door? Ah, he's over here. But that's so Austrian. We don't need him anymore there. Good thing I checked. So... You're going to change this little thing. And I know there's also a lot of troops. Oh, there's a revolt going on. You in the war for elective monarchy. That's family against family. <sighs> How dare you. That is the worst type of war when family are in fighting. You should make love of your family. <clears throat> really, if somebody would just take out... The current things I say out of context, they could... D declaim poetry? As you are such an accomplished poet, and Tapolo is your prisoner, you may punish her by declaiming terrible poems to her. As you're s What? Gives her min 15... Read me bad poetry, gives her minus 15 opinion, and she's released from prison. That seems a bit weird. We could recruit her, actually. Yeah. And the bad religious conversion. Oh, lovely. Seems like a little bit more of a worthwhile idea, I'd say. And now that she's done that, I'll take you as a concubine. Voila! She may be a bit dull- oh no, she's stubborn, I thought she was dull. She's stubborn, but she's not stubborn enough to know a strong man when she sees him. I have been debating, by the way, to actually retract Zabul- uh... Zabulistan away. And then create the kingdom here, because if I give... No, but now I can't do it, no. What I was thinking about is retracting Zabulistan, then give this guy the kingdom on that's over here, and then add Zabulistan again to his realm, but that way it would not go to a family member, and that, of course, is unacceptable. But it would uh, give us a little bit more uh, vassal limit. 
Whoa, 15,000 versus 7,000. Are you about to go to battle? Oh, you're, no, you're moving to Sarai, you... 15,000. Why are they ignoring him? Oh, they're probably dealing with this rebellion over here. Well, that's a peasant rebellion, so I don't think that's going to last very long. Oh no, that's a Bulgarian rebellion. Why are they missing? Oh, no, they have another rebellion. They have the defending in the Veslov of Catholic Uprising. Of a Catholic Uprising. 2% in their favor, so... Over here. Alright, they're probably going to try and deal with that. I hope in the meantime that this guy would just get away from this. This defensive pact. Because if he does, we will have won. Or, we can attack Kildia and then we can help out our vassal. But first... And I want to know when your war ends so that I can revoke some stuff. I grant you the land of title of Abkhazia. And this way, Alania can actually grow a little bit here. And Bulgaria will just become... Oh, we'll lose this area, and it's just within the nick of time to have that happen. If we at least can claim the duchy title in time. But I doubt that he will live... will be able to uh, stand... St stay strong for long now that we've beaten on him, because also his liege lord has about ten times more the troops than he has. So, yeah. Wait, who is now his liege lord? Well, Karsko is back in power as a Bulgarian nation, as a Bulgarian leader. Awesome! Though, a lot of this is no longer in. <laughs> yeah, this is really weird. Wait, and this is Hungarian? Why does this show as not being over. That's weird. Because normally, when it's overruled by a different culture than the one that's in the county, they stripe it, but... Oh, actually, it is striped. It's just extremely un invisible. It's not really invisible, but it's really hard to see, okay? Don't nitpick. Now, your leader. Just request a marriage with someone of, one of my uh, region, and it will all be well. Seriously, get out of this fact. They're never going to hold this. Do you actually have enough to... Oh, they have 4,000 more. Yeah, but still 11,000. I don't think this is going to happen. The county of Pressburg. Look at it. German, lowborn Zoroastrian. Converting his lands for his master. And I was asked by the way the question, why don't you release Bavaria? I would love to release Bavaria, but if I do it now, they're going to be attacked by every freaking nation around here because of the Byzantine Empire can do a war, Italy, France. This way they are protected. And of course I will protect them as long as I can, considering that my son is the king over here. Don't forget that. I've named my youngest the king of Bavaria. But uh, I do agree with the person, a uh, very, very long watcher of mine and personal friends, that, uh, well, <clears throat> this is really dumb looking. It's... Why would you declare a Grand Holy War for Bulgaria? Ooh, I'm pretty sure we'll recover. Uh, instead of, for instance, for Greece. Ooh, and my concubine is pregnant of me again. Yeah, the lustful girl. And he saved my wife. Well, actually, he gave him a successful treatment. It's not entirely the same. Food poisoning. <laughs> Wait. You had a moment ago you had... 6,000 plus 4,000. Where the heck is the, uh, the rest? Well, you're trying to... Oh, they're over, still over here. Sorry. I thought they had... Con you died of smallpox. The King of Arabia. As an advisor, King of Arabia, you are back on the council. Still in the hands of a different dynasty ever since that was uh, elected towards that dynasty. Yeah. 
Bit of a shame, that. Sorry, by the way, small little break here. I have Ares once again on my lap. And does uh, Ares was asking a little bit for attention. I can't help but give it to him. And there our newest concubine that has gotten pregnant. How wonderful! Oh, what the heck is this? The soup kitchen in Shino burned down quite recently in an accident. Without it, many of the poor might starve. They shall receive both money and food. This is charitable. It gains me a hundred piety and a lot of gold lost. And this is the hospital damaged. No, I'm gonna do this. The Andalusian Antillian anti paper war has ended. King of Italy has won. And he's excommunicated. Wait, how can he be excommunicated if he has an anti pope? Vassals, do you have an anti pope? Loyal to Pope Johannes X, loyal to Pope Johannes X. Who is the anti pope? Or did Andalusia had the anti pope and they. No, they're both excommunicated. This is slightly weird. You know what? I'm not gonna bother with it. And that is Catholic affairs, and Catholic affairs, well, they're weird anyways. We don't really care about those, right? Uh, are you gonna combine? No, you're gonna go. You're gonna go to over here. I will keep this information for myself. This is really weird. They're dancing around one another, my vassal and his opponent. Don't, don't go up north. Please don't. Dude, there is always millions of attrition over there. Uh, oh, something just changed. I saw a capital move, but... Yeah, come south. Don't, don't go north. This army... Oh, phew, I thought it was going to go north and siege over here, but there was always attrition over there. You are fighting a battle across a major river. You... Dipstick. Seriously. Are they... Oh... Well, they're probably turned to the Catholic Revolt. Well, that's never going to last, the Catholic Revolt. Sorry to say, but it isn't. Oh. You siege it and immediately start. Fort and construction has, has been abandoned. Oh. Send the gift. I know you can't like me more than it is, but you need to have a gift if you want to continue on with this war. You supposedly have 15,000 men under your control. If that's true, why do I only see 10,000? Where are the other five? Have you recently hired a new mercenary band that hasn't arrived yet? From vassals, from the Meze. Hired a thousand. I have no idea where they are. By the way, I don't know if we're going to stay at peace, but we can always try. Unfortunately, if you feel that uh, particular ambition... Yeah, well, then you should have stayed loyal. Um, if you feel that particular ambition, you can't pick it for another five years, but you know what? That is A-OK -okay by me. And that is a very understandable... Uh... Zuck! There you go. Very understandable little, well, requirement. This is also being sieged. How well are you doing in this war? 33%. That's not too shabby. But the problem is he can't really siege the capital of the nation because he's going to go way too far inland, so that's why I think it will never succeed, to be honest. Whoa! This revolt has, for some reason, 11,000 men. Event spawned 9,000. Okay. That's a lot. The super war for us. So you want to give somebody else it. Don, those Moldvins in those Sumanesco ways. And there we have a twins for me. Another twins. That, and that's the, my second twins, because these two are also twins of one another. Wow. Lots of children for Farad the second, the holy. Uh, peasant revolt. Don't mind. I only care if he goes super ill and we can attack, or if... Do we have actually killed the... Yeah, we do have him... 
set to be in of interest. And then we have this revolt. Who's for some reason... He has 10% against him, but he has siege something down. So... You tell me. And he still hasn't combined his armies, and I believe they have lost now... Due to the sieging some men. And you have a revolt on your hands. Okay, hold on. Peace with the car and... Do it. I don't know what you're fighting for, by the way. To increase council power. Oh, he will do it anyways. Excellent. Because then he won't need to focus on that war. I would be... I would find it a shame if he had to focus on that war. Who do you want to kill? Kill Shazada Shah, Shah of the... Wait, 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 wait. No, this is Shoshara Kajar. Who is... Who does my wife want to kill? Oh, my wife wants to kill my son, because if she kills my son, I will inherit. <laughs> okay, that is a little weird, but... Yeah. 39%. Okay, hold on. And you just got taken away. You, you were already... Oh, that's the Peasant Revolt. Oh, sorry, I thought that was the Bulgarian Revolt. 8,000 men again, but again you're attacking across the river, which I don't think is wise. Um, uh, excellent. He has returned to his duty. I don't think this battle will help you much. 41%. Oh. Doubt giving childbirth. Okay. Yowza! Oh. For some reason it's only showing one of the two armies. Yeah, if he has split them up for some reason. Uh, don't run away if this is the army that's coming- Dude! Oh no. Tactical error. Yeah, that wasn't very smart. You should have- Well, that is the end of that war. Yeah, too much support now. Um, uh, I will buy her ruby earrings so that my wife can fall in love with me. I am now her lover, and she hates me. <laughs> That's what you call a love-hate relationship. Uh, you died. Whatever. Um. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, that destroyed your chance of victory for sure. Oh, wow. And he immediately regains his morale over here. That is some major bull. And he still has sieged everything. Well, you have no more army left. 7,000. Oh! Left the defensive pact opposing me. Left the... Is this true? It is true. Declare war. I don't care. Uh, liberate Alania. Then we can finally have this area connected. We can start fighting here. Uh, everybody in the council is for... Boom! And we can help out our vassal. We can start fighting for Alania. Um, we need to be careful though with these 8,900 men. This is the moment I had been waiting for, and it has been gifted to us. We need to make sure that our vassal is going to be just fine, staying in the wars, happy as can be. Wow, he just left. He just made a major mistake. He left the defensive pact against us. I know and all my Zoroastrian brothers, but I have to attack them. I have to, my good watchers. It is a matter of... Honor. If you will. Uh, Mesopotamia, can I also have some forces from you? Yes, I can. It's 11,000. Lovely. Too bad our extreme amount of revolts over here, even Syria. So that I have no idea how many troops I can get from here. Nothing. 6,000 from over here. That's still pretty darn good. Send them north. Get some ships. Are they enough for my retinue? No, they are not. Send them north. 
as well. And Jerusalem, do you have some troops for me? Not a lot, but I will take whatever true amount of troops I can get. You left the defensive pact. Now suffer F and the mistake. I hope my vassal will stay in this war, because I am going to kick Kildur's armies left to right. And there, the Shadow of Abyssinia is no longer in the jury pond of the Empire of Abyssinia. And the Satrapi of Sana is no longer in the jury pond of the Shadow of Shana. Arabia once again being Arabia. That's pretty uh, freaking awesome as well. And Abyssinia now being part of us. That is just freaking awesome. Yeah, and Nubia has been replaced more or less by Sana, which is funny because, as we all know, Sana lies over here. Well, as you probably know if you have watched this series. This is an, uh, an I would say, episode with interesting turn of events. Let's not f fall, uh, vote for our trap. Let's not do that. That was very, very, very dumb. 20th of January, 20th of February. I need to get somebody who can move me faster. Third of February, how do I get out in time? February, February, February. Darn it, I did a boo boo. Uh, I need a commander that can get me the heck out of here. And of course, if he wins one battle, it isn't a total loss, huh? Don't get me wrong here. Um, I just need an organizer. Wait, don't you move people faster, Architect? No, that's Siege. Uh, there is another trait that makes you move faster. Architect only helps you with the Siege. Only. <laughs> That's not really a good train. Um, yeah, well, we're gonna need commanders over here. Am I gonna put my son here? No, no he's fine enough as it is. Patient is good, though, but... Let's put in him. It is Flatlands, I know that for sure. Let's put in my hunter friend, who I recently picked up. And another one that is pretty good at flat terrain. I, ha I have the minority here, I am aware, but... If don't miss out on a lot of people, and I'm going to bring in huge amounts of troops to uh, deal with this. Oh, they're already attacking. Ouch. I don't think we will win. Nope. We're about to majorly lose this one. How many people can we have in Abkhazia? 24,000. That's fine. And here there are 20,000 troops already on the Empire. Kilgia is, is really putting a number in on my Demesne, uh, sorry, on my Retine, but that's okay. That's okay. They're coming for us. They're coming to these 20,000 men. I'm fine with that. We need to build a fort here immediately. We can only have t what? Shoot, that's annoying, to say the least. Uh, where are you moving? To Kerbin. At 81 died a natural death. Why did you never... Oh, you were my mother. Oh, mother is dead. Damn it, and we have suffered a ton of attrition over here. Uh, combine these two. Dang, Nevitz suffered a ton of attrition. But I'm quite willing to fight in over here if you are gonna go this route. You still have a Catholic revolt to deal with. Interesting. On the 19th of April, they will arrive. Alright. Time to teach you a lesson. You don't just at Ooh, if more people were as trustworthy. This is turning out awesome. Um I'm gonna make the episode just a wee bit longer. I mean we've I know we've been going for 30 minutes now with the 
extra front little piece. But... Oh, he doesn't love me. That's annoying. You don't love me. Why don't you love me? Um, but yeah, we're going to go a little longer here because, well, interesting developments have taken place. Though I can already assure you, we won't be able to finish this in this episode. Polician. Dang it, this guy is Polician. Alright, the wolves have a Polician leader also. Yes, we have river crossings, but we also have way more men than you do. Actually, that one battle that we lost was significant. To say the least. There we go, 77% in our favor. Uh, I wanted to have this land. Thank you. Fort. And I don't think I will uh, very quickly end this war. Mainly for the purposes of, I want to give my vassal the best chance he can get to, well, more or less, stake his claim, if you will. And we just captured someone. Who are you? You are the wife of. And I captured your daughter as well. Ah, oh, your concubine daughter. And a lot of other techie girls. We might have to replace a few concubines. Then again, didn't all of these concubines give me children? Well, actually, this lustful girl hasn't. Her sister has given me three, but... Hmm... Prisoners. Let me see here. You are betrothed to this boy, and you are ambitious. That could lead to trouble. And this is not a... I don't think if I concubine you... Oh, but can I recruit you? That's one already. That's recruited. Could I recruit you? No, I cannot. Can I... Who the heck are you? Oh, man. Throw into the Oblient. I'm not gonna keep somebody here of the Holy Wars in my bay. Oh... Uh, I can't declaim poetry, but oh, she's a lowborn. Released from prison. I don't really care about the lowborn. Um, I cannot recruit her because she likes her her daddy more. But I could definitely concubine her, and that would probably be worth a few bit of prestige and just the funny side of things. Once again, release because we really don't care. Actually, I should, of course. Do we have one of them? Um, maybe she's worth something? Publicly humiliated and an adulteress. Right. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Declaim poetry. Ha ha, there's a 5% chance you become a lunatic. Zuan is forced to spend a full hour listening a, a, to a child reciting some of your most repellent poetry. Not only is the young imbecile void of rhetoric skill, but you made certain that his poem was particularly trite. A delicate intellect may be tarnished forever. Ah, oh, she didn't become uh, in insane. But she has been returned to her man. Uh, was it this girl? Or no, it was this girl, right? Yeah. But yeah, I just gave her a good old piece of my mind. But I think we're going to continue this war in the next episode. And in the meantime, I say I thank you for watching. And remember, great peril yields great beauty.